Hello, everybody. How y'all doing today? Two Southern sisters, and we're back. How y'all doing on this nice Sunday? It's Sunday. M middle of the day. It's pretty it windy is. and cold outside. <laughs> I'm dying. We've got good light, though. I'm slowly dying. Why are you dying? <laughs> because it's so cold. Oh. I go to school and work with like 17 layers on. No lie. Just to ride in my truck to school. And it's yours crazy. usually so hot. I know. I don't know what's changed. Life has changed. It's crazy. We're, you're losing weight, so. Oh, that's true. That is true. So, right? Hay started a healthy eating plan for the new year, and yes. so she's getting healthy, and she's lost how much? Um, in all, I've lost about 20 pounds since Christmas, since is before Christmas. Is that not amazing? So, I'm so proud of her. Got a long way to go, but hey. getting there. I joined this uh, Fit Body Boot Camp, too, and it's, oh, it's kicking my butt. Oh, Lord. But it, awesome. I really enjoy it. You know, you got a personal trainer and all that kind of stuff. And, it, you know, they re it really holds you accountable. So, I really am enjoying it. That's wonderful. I'm so proud of you. So, <laughs> Hayes is going to do her first tutorial for everybody. Her One of her um, favorite everyday looks. So, if you want to see Hayes create her look, just keep watching. Bear with me. It's not perfect. I tried. So. You did really good. Though. Oh, thank you. Yes. That's so sweet. So, if you want to see it or, you know, hang with us for a little bit longer, just stay tuned. Thank Bye. you so much. Thanks Bye, for watching. See you Bye. later. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Hayes from Two Southern Sisters, and I am here today to do a kind of everyday look, but more... Like a little bit more. Sometimes I don't wear makeup every day, and so on the days I do, I kind of like, I'm like, let me just go all in. You know, you just go all in. So, I'm going to do that for y'all today, and we're just going to kind of go with it and see where it takes us. And um, so, I already started off by priming my face with um, the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I have really dry skin. So, this is very good. I just put it on before I do anything and just let it sit and get all that hydration, all that good stuff. And then I went in and primed my eyes with the MAC Pro Long Concealer in the shade NW20. I'm pretty light. And then I took the MAC, the Studio Fix MAC Press Powder in NW20. I just put the concealer all over my eyes and then I put the powder over top of it to prime my eyes. Okay, so first of all I'm going to take um, Soft Brown from MAC and I'm going to use that as my transition shade. We're just going to put it you know all over and go a winch away. It's a little bit darker but it'll do for the kind of look that we're going for today. I'm going to do kind of my favorite is to wear kind of purpley tone brown in the winter time so that's what we're gonna go for today and then I'm gonna take some of the Tartlet palette the first one and I'm gonna blend in some of the Wanderer with it And do it to the other side. I have to excuse me, I'm looking in this mirror right here. Just blend it out, you know. That with the MAC, I didn't rub off the thing, the MAC 217 brush. That's one of my favorites for first applying. And then you just take a bigger blending brush. And, okay. and once we have that blended, we're going to go in with Taupe by the Lorac Pro One palette. Rock Pro One. So we're just going to take that slightly on the outer corner, just to kind of warm it up on that out, because we are going to put a darker color out there. Boy. Try to stay as low as you can to the crease area. And then, what are we doing again? We're blending and we're blending. 
Blend till you can't blend anymore, then blend some more. That's how I feel about that situation. Now we're going to go in with Max Sketch. This is one of my favorite Lux Sketch. I just feel like you can do so much with it. And it'll always look good. And then we're going to take this and we're going to put it on my outer corner also. We're just going to start on the outside and then sweep it up and in. So don't try not to go above your crease because it starts to close your eye out. Make your eye look smaller if you put it above the crease. So just kind of be take your time, be easy, and blend it. And you can always go in with more. It's always good to start with a little bit and then keep adding. So again, that was just with a MAC 217 brush. And you just windshield wiper motions. I don't go too dark if it's kind of like I'm going out just on an everyday thing, but you can go darker if you don't go out, you know, and do what you want to do. So, so just blend it like that. And then I'm going to take my MAC, this is, take some MAC 6 Plus. Oh, it's just so wonderful. So multi purpose. That, a new phone anyway. <laughs> In the name of beauty. And I'm going to take some of, what am I going to take? What am I going to take? I'm going to take some of champagne from the Rock Pro palette. It's the real sparkly color. It's very pretty. That one right yonder. The inner You can kind of overlap the purple because you're going to go in and kind of clean it up. So if it's if it's sloppy, you can clean it up. That's not an issue. And just kind of go up to where the crease is and stop. Then you don't want to go above the crease. So just kind of stop there. Everybody's had a great first start to the year. I know my semester of school just started back. Yay. So, we're just going to blend that out. We're just going to take the flat shader brush and just swipe it across the lid, like so. So, you'll not see it's kind of more pigmented in the with the Fix Plus, it definitely makes it pop more. So, and then you're gonna take take I'm gonna take some of Max Corey, and I'm gonna just kind of blend the shades together so it's not a harsh a harsh line. And then you can kind of you know blend out your where you put it up to the crease too. You can also blend it out with Corey. Just so it be, you know, it's not like bam one color and then bam another color. So like so. And then I like to add kind of a touch of color in the middle. That's just me. You don't have to. But I'm gonna add some of Max Star Violet. I'm just gonna add it straight to the corner, kind of where almost where we sort of blended out that shade, but we're just going to do it ever so slightly, and we're going to go back in and blend it some more that way. It's kind of there, but it's not like... So now I'm going to move on to my face. I always do my... Um, I always do my um, brow shadow after I finish kind of doing my makeup and stuff like that. So um, I am actually going to go in with... Um, Estee Lauder Stubble Wear. I'm in the shade 1N2, which is Ecru. Ecru, however you say it. And I just put some of that on the back of my hand. And 
named on Devil Wears My Favorite. It's always been my favorite. When they changed the formula, I got really sad. And um, I didn't wear it for a while, and I just couldn't ever find anything that I liked better than it. And then I finally decided to, check, to try it again, and it was well worth it. I'm just going to take it on a damp beauty blender, just the regular pink one, the original. Some people say not to apply the foundation with the beauty blender, but I do because I feel like the brushes don't apply right for my skin, personally. It's just a personal preference. If you prefer putting things on with a brush, then you go right ahead. It's gonna. And next with Mac, Mac Pro Longwear Concealer, and just go. Just go under the eyes. With your finger and I'm going to use it to clean, clean up around your eye makeup. If you had any fallout or any um, go down too far, always kind of do it up in a V, then take my beauty blender and blend it out like so. I'm going to take your beauty blender and blend it out. And next, you're going to take, I'm going to set my under eyes with the MAC Studio Fix Powder, Press Powder again, in NW20. I'm just going to set the under eye for right now in the T-zone area. After that's been set, we're going to take the Bye Bye Pores by It Cosmetics, just like this, Press Powder. We're just going to do that on the T-zone, wherever you have kind of larger pores or problem areas that you want to try to, and this stuff works great. Just makes you look flawless. Like, this is one of the best, best powders I've ever tried. So once you've done that, then I'm going to go in and I'm going to do a little contouring and bronzing with the Little Rock Pro Contour Kit. It's my sister. Shh, don't tell her. I had to order mine. My local Ulta was out. So we're going to take some of that, we're just going to go in and kind of carve out just ever so slightly just to kind of give us a little bit of cheekbones, just like this. And then you're going to take um, that same shade, I'm using just a light contour color, and you're going to do it on your forehead. Run that out just to give you some color. The Benefit Cosmetics Major Red Blush. This is one of my favorite cream blushes. Looks like this. It's just so pretty. So pretty. I'm just going to apply it with my finger. Just on your cheek. Start in the middle and work your way out. Blush, very good for winter or summer. And I'm going to take um, Becca Cosmetics Holiday Palette with Jaclyn Hill. I'm going to take Champagne Pop. I'm just going to dust that over the cheekbones. Ever so slightly. Very pigmented. Take a belt tip eyeliner. This is just in black. It's just kind of a random one I have. I think I got it in an Ipsy bag. And uh, I'm just going to apply eyeliner. I'm not going to do a wing or anything like that. So um, nothing too special. I'm just going to go in. I always kind of start in the middle. There's no perfect way to do this. It's whatever way you feel comfortable doing. I always start in the middle and kind of work my way out. And get it to the thickness. And then I'm going to take some of the Benefit Cosmetics. Um, they're real small one to try, my sister. Um, 
Naked Lunch by MAC. And I'm going to use that as a brow highlight. Just under the brow bone. That general area. Like so. Just blend it in. Some of the MAC soft brown. I'm going to put it on my bottom lash. Okay, so and for what I'm going to do last is um, I'm going to do the lips, and I'm going to line my lips with um, this eyeline, this lip liner. Okay, so and for what I'm going to do last is um, I'm going to do the lips, and I'm going to line my lips with um, this eyeline, this lip liner pencil in Nude by Essence. It's just a just a little um, nude lip liner. Longer. And um, I'm going to go in with Max Kind of Sexy. It's a nude kind of pinky shade. More warm. It's a warm shade. This is a completed look. Thank you all so much, guys, for sticking with me and bearing with me as I do my first tutorial. It was we were a little all over the place, but you know, not everything's perfect. We ain't perfect. So, but you can wear this look. I'll wear this look, you know, with the, uh, you know, t-shirt and jeans or I'll get all dressed up and fancy with it. You can do it however you want to. Again, so much guys for sticking with me and I hope y'all have a wonderful, blessed rest of your day and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.